Now, thousands of Georgians are still without power. Yeah, Joe Hinkie has been in Gwinnett County today watching Georgia power crews working hard to restore power to those customers. He joins us live tonight with an update. Joe, do you know how many trees have fallen since have, have you seen uh, causing those power outages? We'll hope quite a few uh, in those power outages. They started early this morning when strong wind gusts blew through Gwinnett County well before the snow started falling. And the county fire department reports in total throughout the day, 20 plus separate incidents of trees coming down and taking out power lines. As the snow fell in Lawrenceville, power crews worked amongst the flurries, putting up new power poles. This outage off West Pike Street blocking the way home for apartment complex residents, including one who did not expect a snowstorm in Georgia. I'm quite surprised though, because uh, I just moved to Atlanta about two months ago, so I'm, I was surprised when people were saying, oh, it's going to snow. I'm like, in Atlanta for real? The crews here worked quickly to raise the power lines, a welcome sight to those waiting to return home. It's cold outside. I just need something warm, a chocolate with a movie, Netflix and chill. <laughs> 20 minutes to the south in Grayson, more snow, wind and down power lines for linemen to repair. Uh, somebody's got to do it. I'm just glad it ain't me. The down power lines here trap Jerry Wesson at home after a strong wind gust at 730 this morning pushed over a neighbor's tree and took down the power lines with it. Just sit in the house. We, we're lucky we got a gas fireplace, so we do have some heat in one room, you know. In Wesson's front yard, similar to elsewhere around Gwinnett County, this crew worked quickly despite the cold weather and wet conditions, and in a matter of hours put the lines back up in the air. Wesson is ready for warmer weather and isn't too excited about the snow. No, I'll be glad when it's gone. <laughs> it's pretty to look at, but that's all. And the power outages here in Gwinnett County, some impacted just a few customers in smaller neighborhoods for Georgia Power. Others impacted hundreds of customers in larger, more dense neighborhoods. But the majority of the power outages, Georgia Power now reporting, have been resolved. There's just a couple remaining impacting just a small number of Georgia Power customers. Now, as Samantha Moore mentioned a second ago, the concern turns to the roadways where the snow melted right away. Moisture is now hanging around. And if it gets cold enough tonight, potentially that could turn into ice and make for some pretty uh, dangerous uh, conditions out there for drivers. So we'll have to monitor that throughout the evening here. We'll send it back to you in studio. All right, thank you, Joe. Now, Georgia Power is sending out tips if you and your family do lose power. Officials say absolutely 100% reported to Georgia Power at 888-891-0938. That number right there on the screen. And you can also subscribe to the Georgia Outage Alert Service so you can stay in the know.